let's roll. from San Diego on Frontier, went straight, it was a great flight, then we went to Ace Car Rental, and that was probably the worst car rental experience of my life. We were there for well over an hour and a half, a huge line, but they did get us in a small BMW SUV, so we're in that finally, we're going past the Vegas Strip, we're headed out, we're headed north, and we're ready for an adventure. Get out of oh, Las Vegas. Let's get out of Las Vegas, that was a rough start. But we're in the car now and we're heading north. First stop, Valley of Fires. Well, we're gonna grab something to eat, then Valley of Fires. Here we go. <laughs> After a rough start, to the day, I think we hit a high patch. I think we're back on task, we're back in stride, and I got something to show you. Look at this, just absolute unit. I don't think the camera fits the whole yeah. thing in there. <laughs> this is a large saw from Capriati's. We were looking at a couple of reviews, a couple of places, sandwich shops off the strip to get a good sandwich on the way north. This is a, this is a $17 sub. Let me just take a bite real quick before we hit the road. <laughs> that is what dreams are made of. Look at that. That is turkey, Russian dressing, coleslaw, salt and pepper, provolone cheese. <laughs> so this is only one half of this unit. Oh my gosh. Any man in the locker room would be proud to have just half of this thing. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. Oh. That bread is so soft. It's shredded turkey. Crisp coleslaw, salt and pepper. I got it everywhere. How can you not with this piece? All right, I'm gonna take a couple bites of this and then we'll hit the road. Let's go. The ultimate destination of this trip is actually Zion National Park, but there's just too many incredible landscapes in the area to make that the only stop. So we load up a rental car in Las Vegas and head northeast on the open road towards Utah. All right, so we made it. Valley of Fire State Park, there it is. All right, so what you gotta do is take an envelope and then we just put $10, she said, 10 bucks per car per day. Rip that top. That works. Yeah, All right, now we take this, we drop it in there. We did our part, keep the parks going. Now, let's head that way. We have officially made it to the Valley of Fire and this place is absolutely insane the rock formations are absurd you gotta watch out for rattlesnakes they say because they are around so we're gonna go up here look at these rock formations how cool is that all right let's head down there unbelievable how whoa how cool is this this is the mouse's tank road here look at this all valley of fire around me the sun is fleeting, but when you can see the sun hitting the rocks, it's just vibrant, vibrant red, but it's still incredible. Look down there. What a place, very peaceful, only a few people here. And this is an absolute wild location. It seems like I'm in the middle of transformers. You got red sand, red rocks, all different types of formations looking like different animals. It is very cool. All right, I'm gonna go get this photo of Tyler. Wow, all right, let's keep moving. And 
just like that, we have made it! We have officially made it to Kanab. We are staying at the Quality Inn and Suites. This is our suite setup. Quality, it's quality. This is a last minute gig, it was $64. Kanab is a central location for all the places that we want to hit. That is as much information as I can provide to you today. And I'm gonna crash on that bed as soon as I finish the rest of my sub. That's it. See you guys tomorrow. Uh, here's a spread this morning. We got oranges. Nice. Uh, quote unquote fruit juice. Muffins. And oatmeal. Our day actually begins at the Kanab City offices. This is the city center of Kanab, and this is where we're going to try to get into the lottery to get into the Wave, which is a highly coveted location here in the area. Only 10 people get in from on the day lottery drawings. You can have another 10 that get in for the day online way ahead of time, but we're gonna go in and try to get into the lottery to get into the wave. So this is where our day starts. It's just before 8 a.m. Looks like there's a bunch of people already here. and We're gonna line up and try to get our names in a hat. Wish me luck. Good luck. I'm going in. Team leader. Only one person per party. Here we go. There's 102, 102 applications, 102 parties, not 102 people. Good job, you guys. Good job. Number nine. 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 Yes. Nine. Yes. <laughs> That's the excitement. All right, we did not win the lottery. That was a very fun, entertaining process. Um, but only 10 tickets were given out. So even if only three balls were drawn, there was one party with three people, two people, and so on, till 10 tickets are given out total. 10 spots, 10 individuals, not 10 parties. Um, we lost that, but we're not complete losers because in that process while we were waiting, we signed on to the Zion website and got first shuttle 7 a.m. tomorrow for the Narrows. So that's a huge win for us. So now, we have the full day. We're gonna head up north to Bryce Canyon, make the most of it up there with the rest of these losers. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Bryce Canyon National Park. We just arrived, we went over to the visitor center, talked with a lovely young woman by the name of Chelsea. Chelsea, if you're watching this, thank you so much for the information. And now we got our map and we are heading in to the National Park. We got a few spots we wanna hit, including Bryce Point to start things off, get a little perspective of the whole place, Sunset Point from there, and then driving down the full 40 minute trail to the end, which was called the end, which was called ya Yavimpa, Yavimpa Point. So that's our goal today. We're gonna drive a little, hike a little, drive a little, hike a little. That's Sunset Point down there. Sunset Point's down there. I don't really know what this way is, but we're going. Okay. <laughs> Bye. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the heart of Bryce Canyon. We're on these switchbacks right now, sandy switchbacks, on our way down into the belly of the beast. Bright red pillars shooting out from the earth. This place is otherworldly. Let's head down and see what we can find. Bryce Canyon, this is impressive. Non-stop rock formations. We take a photo in every single direction. It is incredible. Look at these formations. And we keep going down here. Let's see if I can give you a look. Okay, here's the trail. A few people. Tyler setting up. So nice, man. So Non-stop. Nice. And listen, it's actually very impressive. It's a Monday morning right now, and there really isn't many people. There's a ton of cars in the parking lot and a ton of cars at the visitor center and coming in but everything is pretty spread out. And actually Bryce Point parking lot is very small. So the local guide told us that we had to go here first and it's perfect. There isn't many people on the trails and it feels like we have the place to ourselves or at least enough time to stop and enjoy it, take some photos and talk to my camera. It's beautiful. The original plan was to make our way around the entire park, but we end up just diving into the canyon from Bryce Point and letting our curiosity guide us for the wow. day. I ignorantly thought that Bryce Canyon was just gonna be a few lookout spots and photo ops, but I never imagined it to be this cool. Honestly, this is one of the most unique terrains I have ever experienced. Massive bright orange and red rock structures called hoodoos jet out from the earth at impossible angles. And the scenery is absolutely fascinating at every turn. What do you think, dude? Pretty sweet. Have a whole trail. Very cool. Just like that, we finished back where we started. We got an awesome ride from Sunset Point, and now we are back at Bryce Point, and this is where we started. It was a long day. It is now, what time we got? Uh, we're looking at 3.15. 3.15, we got here at 10.30? 10.30, yeah. We got here at 10.30, now 3.15. We've been hiking nonstop ever since. We're gonna get some water, we're gonna get some lunch. That was incredible, as you guys can see from the footage. If you've been wanting to time it exactly since we started, yeah. we've been hiking for three hours and 52 minutes. Three hours, 52 minutes. We started at Bryce Point and did the Under Rim Trail. We did Peekaboo Trail, Navajo Trail up through the Wall Street. All right, we're gonna get some lunch. It's three o'clock. We haven't had water all day. We haven't had lunch. Let's get going. All right, you always wanna see some food. This is where we stopped for lunch after a long day hiking. Turns out we hiked over eight miles and we stopped at the Canyon Diner. I got a bratwurst. I was hoping for a bratwurst and some sauerkraut, but they're out of sauerkraut. And also just a turkey sandwich, turkey yogi. Well, let's give this nice looking bun, a little ciabatta bun. Let's give it a try. That beautiful crunchy taste, soft bun. Oh, the casing on the outside, a crisp taste. The bun is actually delicious. This is like a ciabatta bun. Sweet relish straight from the, the pump. It was a great day. Finished off with a delicious brat. Let's go. Mm. Oh yeah, America. <laughs> this, my friends, is a cold turkey from, oh, what's the name of the place? Um, ca um, ca <laughs> Capretti's, ca Cap Capriati's. Capri Capriati's. Tyler, Yo. what does that say? Navajo Loop, Navajo Loop, Navajo Loop, Navajo, right? That's your final answer? Navajo, yeah, J Silent. <laughs> You're not from these parts, that's okay. Man, I try, I, I try. You know what, as a white man, 
I can't say either, but it's pronounced Navajo. It's Navajo. In oh, how about Navajo? What, is what did I say? Navajo? Navajo. 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 It's probably the most Nave famous Native Nave American. Navajo. 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 You sure? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then the whole time we were in Ho Ho Shit Hookaboo 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 Oh they're the Hula Hooligoos 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 Hooligan It sounded like Hocus Pocus Oh, oh, it's on the map. <clears throat> Here we go, hold on. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Oh, hey, we were doing the, hey, hello. It says like, hello. Hello, we were doing the. Hey, oh. Hoodoos. Hey, I hike the hoodoos. <laughs> I hike the hoodoos. That's what it says on the map. Hoodoos. I guess all of these rock formations are hoodoos. All right. 